What's up, guys? Oh, sorry. It's your boy DJ coming at you. Hey. Oh, yeah. It's still alive. The Easy Motion new Neo Jumper. Shabam. That I had since 2014. It is an electric bike. Uh, sporting rock shocks in the front. Uh, Alex rims and a full suspension outfit. Uh, and by the way, these bikes are made by the company B H. You see right there, B H. Oh, you see part of the oh, it. Yeah, B H. They've been making bicycles, regular bicycles, like for like a hundred years. So I believe it's an Italian bike, or Spanish bike company in Spain somewhere. But anyway. Just giving you an update on it. I had this bike since 2014. I got over 2,000 miles on it. 2,000 something miles. Let me see. Um, let me tell you exactly. 2,603 miles on this bike. How's the bike doing? The bike is doing great, actually. I haven't had any major problems with it. Um, I haven't had any major problems with this bike since then. And I would have a lot more miles, but I got multiple bikes. So. You know, collectively, I got over 7,000 miles on my e-bikes, collectively. And this is the first one I got since 2014. So I got a good feel of, for, uh, you know, how well an e-bike should perform. Uh, I think this bike does great. It has a hub motor in the rear, 350-watt hub motor in the rear, 27.5-inch uh, rims. And, uh, yeah, everything's pretty much stock. I haven't done any upgrades to it at all. I mean, uh, when they came out with this bike at the time, in 2014, it was their top of the line electric bike. So at the time it sold for $4,100. That's how much they were selling it for. So it was their top notch bike uh, in 2014. Um, I had to move back to Illinois in 2016 and I did a test on this bike. I mean, I did a, took it to the shop and have them do a tune up on it. And when I was in Florida, living in Florida with this bike, I rode this bike over tree roots, everything, man. I didn't. I jumped small ramps, just small ones, every now and then. But uh, mainly tree, tree roots were the abuse that this bike had had gone through uh, uh, when I was back on the trail. And because uh, Florida, the, like I'm in Illinois now, that's dirt, good old fashioned dirt. Uh, but in uh, Florida, the pavement was, uh, the ground rather was sandy. A sand like material very sandy so uh, when you would ride the bike the ground would move away from you so it was quite different from riding on dirt so yeah dirt's a lot better than sand trust me how's it going folks we meet again <laughs> you okay yeah oh yeah I'm just doing a YouTube video <laughs> so it's nice folks just walking the trail um, but yeah, uh, this bike has held up great over the six years that I've had it. Yeah, seven years, 2021. Well, still six years, about coming up on six and a half. Uh, the hub motor does great. It has a lot of torque uh, for a 350 watt motor. I mean, extremely a lot of torque. Uh, as I stated, in Florida, is the, the pavement was sand, very sandy. And, uh, you know, so that, that puts more stress on the motor of course so uh, i have to give this bike a lot of props i mean uh i'm sporting a sun tour epicon uh, uh a center shock in the in the there and uh, it's done well i mean it's got lockout on it also my my rock shock in the front has a lockout right here so i can lock it out just right there when i want to you know I'm, 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 if i'm on uh, the street or whatever and make it more street oriented if i choose to but the, in Illinois, the roads are so bad, it's probably best to leave it, leave the suspension on full time. But uh, yeah, man, I got I got a rave on this bike. It does great, guys. Um, but I would say, you know, I think now that I know more about e-bikes, everybody pretty much is overpricing them. I think everybody. I mean, if you want to get a high quality bike, like at the time, this was the best that they had. That's from uh, BH Easy Motion. And, uh, and to this day, but anyway, back to, let me, let me back up a little bit. Back to the shop. I was talking about how that, uh, uh, the abuse this bike has gone through, like riding over a lot of tree roots and stuff. When I took this bike to the shop, they didn't have to true their wheels or anything. You know, they just 
tuned up my gears. My gears were a little off. That's it. You know, they said my wheels were fine. Uh, they didn't even have to bleed my brakes, you know? So, and at that time, they even said in 2016 that this bike uh, was specced quite high, and they thought it was a very well-built bike themselves. So, I'm just saying that to say that that says a lot about this bike, even though it's beat up. I mean, I'm talking about 20 feet of tree roots just do -do 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 in Florida. Those of you who've ridden in Florida trails, ridden on the Florida trails, you probably know what I mean. See, like right here, this is dirt. Let me show you guys. You see tree roots like that here on the side of the trail? In Florida, they were much bigger and in, in the center of the trail, almost as if they were placed there on purpose as an obstacle. And I would have maybe 30 feet, sometimes maybe 40 feet of those, and that was all the time with this bike. Because again, the, 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 the ground would wash away due, due to it being sandy. But anyway, not to say that uh, this, if you can get your hands on a bike like this, well worth getting. Well worth buying. This bike holds up really well. And uh, really well. So uh, I have no regrets buying it. I paid a lot for it at the time when I got the bike. Uh, it was used. It had 14 miles on it. Test miles on it. 14 miles. The guy gave it to me for... What is it? He gave it to me for $3,400 at the time. So he said he meant to give it to me for like 36 or 38 something like that, but that was his fault. <laughs> uh, uh, but anyway, it was from Chris Nolte. And um, at the time, his shop was in New York. And uh, I can't remember. I forgot, the, I forgot the name of the shop, by the way. It's, it's been a while. And then he changed it to something else. So anyway, he was a good guy. Chris is real cool. And uh, I don't think he sells easy motion bikes anymore because they don't sell them anymore here in the United States. They close shop here because they did have headquarters out in California. So I'm hoping I can still get parts if I need to get parts. But pretty much bike parts are pretty much standard, you know, except when it comes down to the battery. I would have a little bit concerned about that, you know. But oh, oh here's what I want to tell you guys. OK, I hear all this flap about people talking about batteries and how that. They'll degrade over time, blah, 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 blah. I've had this bike since 2014, guys. And this had the top-notch sales in it. I think it has uh, Samsung sales in it. I have, as a matter of fact, let me see. Hang on a second. Activated by Samsung, SDI. Well, there's some Samsung product right there. You can see right there on the label. It says something about Samsung. So it has been, um, I think it has Samsung batteries in it. But anyway... Uh, I haven't had any degradation that I know of. I can't tell any difference in uh, the life of the battery as far as distance or whatever. Still, I still get great mileage off of this bike. Um, with pedal assist, I did a test on it in Florida. I got 65 miles in pedal assist off this bike. That's leaving it in. Uh, that's with me leaving it in uh, the lowest level of pedal, pedal assist. And I rolled with flats as much, much as possible. I had a couple heels. It was like a two-day task. <laughs> I did like 40 miles in one day. The next day, I finished up with the 20-something miles. But anyway, yeah, you know, I'm very confident if I were to do the same test, I'd probably get the same mileage. Because what did they say? They said these bikes, these, these uh, lithium-ion cells can cycle up to like 2,000 times. I'm not even close to that. So I would say for those of you who don't fret so much about the cells, uh, the degradation of the cells, whatever, I don't think, I think it's more hype than truth. Because, like I said, I've been doing it since 2014. I haven't noticed any substantial drop in power or range of my battery at all. So, I just want to tell you guys that uh, so you don't stress out about it. No, that might be different if you're uh, riding electric scooters, because I'm into that too, e-scooters. It might be a bit different because you use the batteries constantly because that's, that's all it has is a motor. Right, whereas a bike you can pedal, so it's not as much battery usage. So it may be different when it comes down to using uh, scooters and stuff like that. Might be a bit on the different side. So uh, that being said, yeah, but it's a good bike if you can find one. Somebody's crazy enough to sell you one of these for a thousand dollars or even two thousand dollars. I would say grab it because it's a good bike, and the motor does great, by the way, real good. All right. This is your boy DJ. I'm done talking. I'm tired. <laughs> Just giving everybody an update on Easy Motion Neo Jumper. I haven't done one in a while. All right, guys. Later.